Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn. Where I didn't push the record button in time because I'm an idiot. Um, I have finished this. Oh dear. Oh dear. This needs to go down a bit. Uh, um, we finished the. Uh, the we finished it. We finished it. It's built. It's done. It's, it's ready to go. It's working. It's working. This is prone down here. This is not prone down here. I'm not quite sure why. These ones are. This one is, uh, that one's not. I, I think it is a visual bug uh, with the way it works. Um, so because the water's all around it, it's causing that. So we won't get it on the end unless we extend this out further, which um, we don't need to do, but I might do. Um, Just so we can get it looking the same as that. Because I like that. I like the little waterfall coming down. It's not actually filling. This is close. It's not actually doing anything. So so if that only opens uh, when that water lowers. And then stops again afterwards. So let's uh, open. Close. Uh, do you want to close? Do you want to close? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's only fine because of that. So it must be that it's it's um it's because the water's surrounding the whole thing. That's the problem. Which would mean we need the water to travel a little bit further. Which means we need to put another um another another one of these on the end and run it up to there. Can we even do that? I think we can, but it would be a different build than that. And then, unfortunately, I can't do that because of that there. So we can't go as far on each and every one of them. Wait, 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 wait. So, yeah, we can't. I can't do that. Because these buildings here would get in the way of it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So how would we do that? Is there any way we can get anything in there that would uh, allow us to seal off the end of that? If we just let the water pour into these end gaps here. Can't really do any of these because they sit up higher, not down low. And I don't think there's any way. I don't really want to do some triple platforms up on the end. Although we could do triple platforms up the end because it looks like it lines up with there. So we could do that. Like do uh, some triple platforms, some double platforms. Um, just do five of them, obviously five like that and then we put the uh, levees nope nope we can't do that because of that one okay okay but we can also change that one that one can actually be a levee so might try that might change that one and see whether that stops the water pouring down and if it does then that'll be fine we'll just change it to be a levee in the end and then won't worry about that. We might even just levy off that entire end piece and Yeah, okay, okay. Let's let the uh let's let the water in there. It, it won't run dry anytime soon because we got a, a well we haven't got a resource here, so this will this will eventually start running dry, although oh no, this is happening. And I think it's purely just because uh even though this is open, the water cannot flow backwards. So you can create locks, which is very interesting. You can create locks. So this one will empty, and then this one will empty, and this one will empty. Uh, so you can actually create locks using these things, so the water only flows one direction. Which is quite useful. It is actually, that is actually quite a useful thing to, to have, having the water only flow one direction, because you could have a river 
come down like this and then you could put some um, levees here some uh, sluices here and it will fill this pool all the way to the top um, but then won't let the water come back out again so you don't lose that edge the uh, like a quarter of it from the uh, the dam so so that's actually quite useful using using sluices in a backwards compatibility so you just have them open all the time um, and they just let water through but won't let water backwards could be very applicable it's quite a late game because you need metal for them anyway but but still still quite useful yeah, yeah. And of course that pool is the water reserve for this one this pool is water reserve for this one and this pool is water reserve for this one which is kind of not fair because this one's got a smaller water pool but this will have more here this will have much more here because well we're going to have more things to do here so Shall we explodify some things? Let's explodify some things. Let's do that. Ready and go. I should really have gone down and actually done the lower level on that as well, but yeah, we're fine. And we want to do this one here as well. So let's just start in the center and push the button. Yeah, should we have done off the edges? I should really have done off the edges and I didn't. Oh well. Oh well. Let's uh pop back corners this one. Go. And we can pop that one and that'll run all the way around the edge. And we're gonna come in and put the next row in and the next row in. And uh yeah yeah okay okay so you're down to this level now which is quite cool we want you to go down further than that but that's okay we'll have to um put right in there so they can actually get to that so yeah uh okay so we're going to have to have to put in uh, twos there. This one still will be twos as well. Then this wants to be ones like that. And then below it wants to be threes, but we can't actually get to any of those. So let's um, destroy this. And then come in and do... Oh, this will be easy. We'll just do... Um, Like that and then you should be able to reach you can't reach that one can you no nah. and then we'll go up here as well ooh, ooh, there you go and they can do all that that'll be fine they'll come in here and they'll do that that'll be fine we'll get rid of all that that'll be fine okay so where's our next uh edges so whilst we're in the drought let's deal with those so that one there that one there put a sluice in there and there and we want to have them closed there's going to be one here have them closed and closed okay. and then there's going to be one here that'll be closed okay cool. right i'm going to draw a path just down the center like that so they can actually reach those okay we still can't take these ones out yet um it would be nice to be able to do that although we do need a, a drop off somewhere in this place because otherwise the water will just back up and overflow everywhere so uh yeah but i do kind of need to leave these ones as is but I think we're okay. I think they can just carry on flying down underground for the moment there. That'd be fine. Blow stuff up around them. No worries there. Okay. Okay. 
that's kind of where we're at we just need to continue doing this sort of thing there i need to build um across here rebuild this and fit in this here but we need to get water i need to get the the um the uh sluices in so that we can start building this reservoir and then once we built the reservoir we can move the pumps on top of it and everything will then be much better than it is now so let's explode there and explode there i can always put the sluices in and open them yeah yeah okay okay let's put more sluices in and uh clear out more land and things we need to desperately do that um everything's working okay food is still doing well mushrooms is not doing very well uh they just they just aren't doing very well at all so um uh, also this this is not working the way i i thought it was going to work but it kind of it, yeah um I genuinely thought this was going to be not as much as this. I thought it was going to be a bit in the middle, but I guess I've got my calculations wrong. Um, so that's... Oh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 15. Okay, so... So, yeah. I haven't got my calculations wrong, but I've messed up thinking that it was a square when i know full well it's not a square it's only a um uh we need to go up there anymore no we don't need to go up there anymore so get rid of that as well oh. um it's not a square it's a circle so we're not getting anywhere near the amount of green land that i thought we were getting we're gonna have lots of patches in between which aren't green which um means i should have done them more often or i should have put in I, I don't know the optimal way to actually get the water i suppose what you need is offset one so we have these ones here and then we'd have one here and you'd figure out what the offset would be to only then get a little patch in the center there and the rest of it would. so you'd have to figure out the distance between here and there so if we're now at corner wise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's basically ten. So you'd have to go another ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then do a three by three there. That would touch that one there. Then this one would have to be moved up, but then you get a big gap in between, so it'd have to come. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly how to get to get the optimal farm. It's, it's technically it's a three by three. Um, it's not pools. It's a three by three river. You want to you want to be doing not individual pools, but um, but it's okay. It's okay. We can work with this. We can work with this. The, the land's going to all be like this. It, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So this will be, this will be green up to here, and then there'll be a patch in the centre there that's brown. So that's where like the farmhouses will live. So there'll be a patch here. There'll be a patch here. This is where the farmhouses and storage and things are. And then the green land, like this will be a crop. We'll figure out a crop in here. So we'll just measure off, square off, and then remove the circle, and then that will be a crop. And then the farms, the farms will be on the four corners of the crop, like that. Um. And then this one will be a crop, and that one. So this one will be trees, although it's got a big a thing chopped out of it there. But that's okay. That's okay. That's not too bad. Which means I want the roads to be on the fifteenth area. I want the roads to be here. So let's, um, with the exception of that road there, because that road kind of needs to be where it is due to our uh, thing, but. Um, yeah, the optimal is probably bring that down and in. So you go instead of that's ten, that's twenty. So maybe go fifteen. Go fifteen, do that. And then you 
don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how pooling would be the best way of doing it. A river. A river would have made so much more sense. Having this pour down into and then just having the lake, uh, a river go all the way down, would have made so much more sense. It's still technically doable that way, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to go with the aqueducts because they look cool. If I can just get the end one there to actually flow the same as these ones. Um, but I, I like them. I think they look cool. <laughs> having a dry and reservoir with just holes in the bottom of it would work we could absolutely do that because we could build this in here put a permanent permanent uh, a impermeable floor on top of that platform there which will stop water going into it so water can only get in via this one here um and then it could pull down and that would be absolutely fine although this is an even number not an odd number so but um and it could pull down and then you just have the river go from here all along to here and it'll make the whole strip green and then that'll make the strip green and we get even more green land but no we're gonna go with the pools we're gonna go with the pools because we can because we can yeah yeah okay yeah <laughs> it's not that it's optimal it's fine it's fine so um i can actually get rid of this road here um bomb for the moment Make this all trees. We need trees. We need all the trees down here. So this is all going to be trees. Um, don't worry about around the corner. Um, so is that 15? Oh, yeah. um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. That's 15 there. Is it? No, that can't be right. Oh, that's 15 from the edge, isn't it? So it's 15 plus 2. So it's there. That's the edge of this this tree area. So we want to put like a forester here. Um, which can't read most of it, to be honest with you. He's uh, way too far away from most of it. So what if we put a forester... I don't really we could put one in the center and it could cover like the whole the whole shebang but i feel like one's not going to be enough to keep up with the uh the planting and harvesting things although we are doing fine for trees uh we're doing absolutely fine for trees this is this is working so we don't need and this is only got one forester so maybe we'll do one forester and we'll just run it in the center We lose a little bit of land, but that's okay. That's okay. That doesn't matter. We'll run it, run it into the center there. The farms can go on the outsides because farms can reach into them. Because farms uh, plant and harvest. If I put you there. And then around the outside, we're going to do lumberjacks. So one, two, three, four. Oh, oh, five, six, seven, and then where can you, you can reach to there, you can reach to there, no one can reach the back corner, but then that's because this is, this should, that no, don't want to be over one more because then it wouldn't even with the map, but it should be over one more so we get a path down the outside, so. And then put forests in yeah so let's let's do that let's make it it's going to be slightly uneven i could put some forests in it i could, I could put a, a gallery in the center as well and he could go and do the let's do that let's put one there as well and then you'll you gather all this you gather all that you gather all the other okay cool and then we're gonna go with oak trees and we are just gonna go Lump. Like that. Now most of them won't get planted, which is fine. None of them will be harvested because um uh I haven't got this set up here, so let's harvest them as well. Lump like that, okay. What is you going for the moment till this has started to plant and start growing? Uh most of these on the outside won't get won't get planted. Um, but that's fine, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, okay. The, uh, looks like the sluices are in. Awesome. Let's blow that one up. Blow that one up. We're in another one there. Let's put the sluice in here. Um, I'm not sure whether you want to be a triple or a single or a what. I'll put a triple in. Um, and if it's too deep, we can always refill it. So we don't have to worry about that. Can't put you in there. Um, you want to be open. Okay, you just want to be open. So you're letting the water out down here so we're not flooding everywhere. So. Yeah. Okay. Let's detonate you two out there. Not that one. I can't actually reach up one, can you? No. Even when you get up on top, I don't think you're about to reach up one there. Okay, let's put a double platform in there, and then you'll be able to do that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, they should come up and redo these as well, although I think these are low priority. Yeah, these are low priority, so they're doing other things first. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so this is run out now, so technically this pool's going to start running out. So, ah, we have our sluices all in place. Awesome. Right. In that case, let's demolish the road on top of this. Being very careful. The road does not need to be on top of this either. If I was to destroy you, ah, oh, damn it! I've just destroyed the road to get into here. I was thinking, if I was to destroy you and put in a, um, let, let's try that. Let's try that. Hold on. Um, pause. Uh, don't pause. Uh, run a road back down here to here. If we destroy that, that's going to let that water flow back through down to there. But that's okay. It's going to flood a bit. It doesn't matter. And then we put a levee here. made this super high priority come and build this first please nothing to do range yeah that's about right in fact to be honest with that let's um give you all a bit of a pause Because we don't need you, we just need you to go and do your thing. So yeah, away you go. Okay, you're gonna get on with that, that'll be fine. Um, you aren't actually gonna go around and plant any trees in here. But um, once the trees are all planted, what we can do is uh, like clear the planting area and let them naturally grow for a bit to, f to try and fill out. They won't fill out obviously the whole area because they can't, they can't go into there, but come and build this please and then when the um the water starts again we'll see whether this has water pouring down or whether that stops it um it might be those going past it might not be i don't know and if it does we'll have to build back here unfortunately i've just messed this all up completely and put things in here that we can't now build up back here so yeah it's definitely something to do with the water forward of it if I put levees in that stops it, that'll be fine. I'll, I'll just I'll just use levees. Um, we'll just put a levee there instead. We'll have a three with a levee, and uh, that'll be fine. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, we can get rid of these. We don't need access to inside anymore. We might need access up to here so let's put that path back in again and we'll see how it goes because we can always turn these off and stop the water coming up here once this has been tested so okay four days to a drought do you know what i'm actually going to do that 
We're actually going to do that. Um, let's uh, destroy you and destroy you. Let's put a levy in the end there and the end there. Especially this could all be levies on the end here. It could be sealed off on the end anyway, so... We'll go with that. Okay, so let's do this and let's wait for the drought to finish and uh, see whether this works. Oh, the water is returning. Let's explodify these up here. Let's explodify these down here and these over here. And let's explodify this here. Oh. Awesome. Ah, we missed some. Ah. I keep doing that. I keep forgetting to... Uh, build around it as well so that we can actually get all of them done so that's too far away from it but yeah okay okay that's fine that's fine get rid of those get rid of those it's fine get rid of those and we're just putting a standard thing there okay so we're gonna come down here it's still gonna pour out these two here because we have that as our our return these ones um these ones will be fine ba -dum -ba -dum. these ones will be fine because they're closed Uh, that one is closed, yes. This one is open again. It's set to auto. Cool, right. Okay. Buff, you hit there. The wave pool starts going wavy wave. Okay. So you're going to pour into there. That's fine. Until this closes. Which it has done, but no, the water's still pouring back. Okay, so it's something to do with the uh, the sluices either side I'm doing it as well. Okay. Okay. So this won't do it. No. I don't know why you're closed. What depth is that? Downstream depth is 0 0.60. Oh, because your set's closed, idiot. Uh, auto. Okay. Yeah, see, that's pouring out one. Yeah, so it's not... It's it's to do with the water being in these two squares here. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I can see a way to do that. I can see a contraption to do that. Um. And I'd build it inside here. So we'd build, like, um... Yeah, something inside there. Go up, go under here, and make it big enough so you can put levees in front of it. Which I I, I, I want to do because I like the waterfall, but I don't know if it's going to look bad if we did this. If I did that, and then... Well, it'd be a single one there. Then we'd have to come off of that... Um... nope nope that's not gonna work that's not gonna work the way i just envisioned that working is not gonna work we'd have to come off of it like this um but i can't just have three i need to have five so it would end up being a monstrosity of a contraption i thought we'd just move this back and have the water pour into that one there but i don't want to do that either because that's that's not it wouldn't it just doesn't look right don't know don't know um i've also uh added more wood storage here so we can get some more wood going um because i realized we're going to need so much wood for building this up to be higher so yeah we're, we're going to need so much wood for this so um yeah maybe we just have to deal with it not not working yeah i think we just have to deal with it not working simple as that Yep, I can't do anything about it. 
I can't do anything about it. We just have to deal with it not working on the M1. Need to get waterfalls, but the M1s don't. So over by the industry, uh, we won't get any waterfalls. So this will have one here. This will have one here, which I'm... Let me run this road, because this road's dead in the center of it. So that's one away from that edge there. Two away from that edge there. Okay, so we're 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 okay. I think we're okay. Maybe not here. Maybe not here. We're okay. Let's bring up the uh, uh, this thing here again. Where right? So where are we? We are at uh, 111. That's there. That's where the pool has to go. <laughs> that's the center of the pool there so the pool has to go here I mean it doesn't have to go there um, we could move the pool back a bit or we could just not have a pool on the end here because this doesn't necessarily need the water over here but I would like to put a pool in there however if we did a pool there um, it will flood over into this building I believe, I'm not sure we could put it there, fill it with water, and just just build over the top of it because there's not going to be any crops over this side. So um, you could have platforms over the top of it, and that wouldn't be a problem. So anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll leave this one here, um, and um, if anyone can come up with a solution for this um, that doesn't involve building mega structure underneath it to extend it out, uh, then then let me know. Um, can't come from here any further out i don't know it's uh it's one of those ones where i want to kind of build another platform on the end of it um but i can't build a five by five platform and i mean we could use one of these i suppose like build off the end and just use one of those and then yeah move this guy over by one put it in the end there and build on top of it that might be the way to go that would be the way to go or just get rid of that tree there let's do that let's do that unless, unless anyone has any other um fantastic ideas to do this i will i will do this instead and we will see how well this goes with it so let's get rid of that let's put in a um well it takes a long time to break that tree come on come on and then a triple bump. And then we do the five length one there. Yes. And then we just fill it with levies. Because that's all it's going to be here for. Bump like that. And then we can open those two. And then the water will be fine. And it just has this additional support on the end of it. But there's no other way I can see of doing that. It's just, yeah, it's just going to have an additional support there. I can't even put it in the center and do it. Because it, because there's none of these uh, that go... Like they don't go either way. You've got you've got the three by three, but I want the five by one with a center tap, and there there isn't one in here. They only they're only overhangs. So yeah, yeah, we'll leave that, and that'll be fine. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always.